New at four, a close knit community in the western suburbs is still trying to make sense of a devastating fire that destroyed their church. In this video, you can see all that is left of the New Life in Christ Bible Church that's in Maywood. CBS 2's Andrew Ramos is there live for us. And Andrew, that pastor determined to rebuild. That's right, Marie. Uh, and so are many of the congregants, many of them who actually drove by this location today, uh, trying to catch a glimpse of the aftermath. Many of them said they had to stop by to see it with their own eyes to truly believe it. Now, if you take a look behind me, you can see just how much devastation uh, this fire left. You can see right through that window, right through the sky, the roof completely gone, the structure completely gutted. Now, if you take a look on the side, of the uh, structure, you could see how much of a close call it was for neighboring homes that almost caught fire. The burnt sidings you can see right there. The first responders, of course, being praised for containing this blaze as quick as they did. Now, it was just after 3.15 Monday afternoon when firefighters responded to the fire at the church located at 15th Avenue and Harrison Street. Video captured at the scene showed flames tearing through walls, pouring out of windows and doors, destroying everything in its path, ripping through the newly renovated roof, causing it to later collapse. Now, drone footage we captured earlier shows just how much devastation was caused. Uh, much, if not all, the church equipment destroyed. The pews not even recognizable. Now, although heartbroken, Pastor Ronald Beeman tells us the plan now is to move forward and rebuild. He had spent the last few weeks working day and night in the church preparing for the new year. I know there's a reason why he had me to come here every single day just to be with him. And so I'm, I'm grateful for that. Many people were married in this church. They were buried in the, from this church, funeralized here. I've gained relationships, met people that I've never thought I would meet, seeing things that a lot of kids my age didn't get to see. And I'm very, very fortunate and blessed to have that opportunity to even be a part of this church. Now, as you mentioned, the congregation say they are determined to rebuild here at this location. It's just a matter of raising the proper funds and waiting for the outcome of this investigation. It's still unclear what caused this fire. Live in Maywood tonight, I'm Andrew Ramos, CBS 2 News. Andrew, thank you.